fellow Minecraftians, Lost here with another tutorial, this time on the Pulverizer from Thermal Expansion, included in the, in the new Techit mod pack. The Pulverizer will run on any Buildcraft energy source except redstone engines, because they're not, mu not much good for anything other than pumps or pipes. Now this one's powered by a redstone energy cell and attached to conduit. Um, I do have a separate tutorial on this. If it's not available right now, it will be very shortly. I do apologise. I will also have another tutorial on the other power sources available. All right, the pulverizer itself acts as the macerator from IC2, though it is a little bit slower. However, it is a lot more intelligent. Now, this on the side here is the buffer, so it stores 4,800 Minecraft jewels, which is quite a lot. It can run at a maximum of 4 MJ per tick, so one magmatic engine will get it running at full speed. Now, it doubles your ores, much like the macerator does, as you can see here, but it does have a chance to drop an extra item. Uh, in Iron's case, it drops pulverized ferrous metal. There is one input slot, which would be the blue side here, and two outputs at the moment, which would be the red and the yellow. Now, you can see these on the sides, but you can't see the back side there, because it's covered with the energy conduit. There is also one underneath, so you can decide or set it up however you please, because the in, uh, input and output slots are completely configurable here. See this side's now red, change the colours, that is completely off. So now on this side, nothing will go in or out. Um, the top is currently set as yellow, so that would be the secondary output. We can actually change the top there and make that blue so that it's the input. Now if you pop a hopper or two on top of there, this one pulverizer is now able to take an, an um, process all of the ores you get from a single 64 by 64 quarry. It can actually handle two or three quarries itself. You may need to stick another hopper on the top, but although it's slow, it is mighty, and with the extended hoppers, you can definitely, definitely handle all of your ores. Now, as I said, that you get two uh, outputs. Obviously, this one is the random chance. Now, this one outputs to the red side. Now, they auto auto eject the uh, dust that they produce. So, if I was to put a container here or actually even a pipe, it will, should automatically eject the ores to this side. It's not going to though because... Oh, it has. Oh, there we go. We just didn't see it. Just a graphical error there. But there we go, look. It's automatically output. Now, you can set this to go straight to your furnaces or into storage, um, whatever it is that you choose to do for your dust there. But you are left with the second one right there. Now, you can, well, we could do it on this side. If we had changed this side, this side here, and made that yellow, turn the other yellow off because it's not needed. Now, if we put that there, it should, yep, there we go, it spits it out quite happily. So, you could have the separate side feeding into a separate furnace if you wished, or into a chest. You can also, using these, adjust them. This one here is the back, by the way. But you can adjust it so that they are bo both the outputs are orange. So both outputs will go out of one side there. As you can see, they are pretty intelligent. And they can manage an awful lot of ores. And you can set them up to input-output in any way or form you choose. Well, I hope you found that reasonably helpful. Um, yep, I hope you have fun, guys.